Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to the Pokemon Unite test server. And we are actually going live in the test server right now to check out Meowskareta. As you see right here, this is the test server update um, schedule that they have, where Meowskareta is going to be available to use in the test server from November 17th to the 21st. Metagross is going to be available from the 24th to the 28th and then Gyarados is going to be available from December 15th to December 19th so they kind of letting us know the next two Pokemon we're getting after Meowskareta um, with that being said uh, let me drop this image drop this image I don't even need this up no more we can just remove that and now we're in the Pokemon Unite test server so Meowskareta is now before I get started let me just say that keep in mind that these these test server versions of them are subject to change. Um, I remember I did a test server video for Mimikyu and they had him in a test server as a special attacker. Then when he got uploaded into the main game, he was a physical attacker, which made more sense for his skill set. But I don't know if they're going to change Meowskareta from being a physical attacker to a special attacker. Because they kind of low key, they kind of leading, lean, they're kind of leaning towards mimic uh, Meowskareta, excuse me, Meowskareta being a uh, a special attacker, but we but what we we won't know until we actually get him. So you know that remains to be seen as to. What, what type of damage Meowskarada is going to do. But as for right now, it's a physical attacker. Let me turn this up because I don't even think this is loud enough. That be, ooh, that's good enough. That got to be good enough. down on 1.4 so that should be good all right so taking a look at Meowskarada uh, first off looking at this mo at the moves first off it's a speedster a melee speedster so we are getting another speedster with Meowskarada which they kind of revealed if you paid attention to the Pokemon World uh, Championships it, as, as of right now, it does physical attack damage, but I have a feeling that they're going to change it to special attack. But with that being said, the basic attacks, um, whenever a set amount of time passes, the next basic attack becomes boosted. And boosted attacks have the user leap at, an, at opposing Pokemon and deal additional damage. So that's going to be an interesting mechanic to see from auto attacks. Uh, the passive is overgrow. After the Pokemon takes damage, that reduces its it to half its max HP or less, it disappears and it leaves, it leaves for a short time. For a short time after that, the Pokemon movement speed and damage dealt increase and each time the Pokemon deals damage to oppose a Pokemon to recover HP and the ability goes on cooldown after that. Now, as far as how long that cooldown is remains to be seen. So the default, so the first set of moves, um, the first starter move is, uh, is Leafage with a 7 second cooldown it shoots out leaves and deals damage to Pokemon and hit and it decreases their movement speed which is really good uh, next up it has flower trick um, it attaches a flower bomb to a Pokemon and the bomb can be activated at will if the move is used again when it explodes it deals damage based on the percentage of HP the, po the opposing Pokemon has lost if the user deals damage to an opposing Pokemon that has a flower bomb attached to it the explosion of the explosion's area of effect is increased and it deals increased damage. If the user is knocked out and put an opposing Pokemon with the move, the move's cooldown is reset. So that's something to look forward to. The upgrade increases the explosion's effect, area of effect, and increases the movement speed of Meowskarada after the move is used. Then next up we got Night Slash. It throws slash, slashing waves with its claws, dealing damage and applying a mark to opposing Pokemon. The slashing waves hit. 
The user's basic attacks have increased critical rate on Mark opposing Pokemon. When the user deals damage to Mark opposing Pokemon with, with his basic attacks, this moves users this moves cooldown is reduced and the user recovers HP. And the upgraded version increases the critical hit rate and the HP recovery. Uh, the second set of moves, Home Claws, has the user sharpen his claws, increases the speed and damage of his next three basic attacks. So it's kind of giving me. <laughs> I kind of want to try this with Scarf off of that alone. I kind of want to try this with Scarf. With Rapid Fire Scarf. Like, I need to see how that works. So, you use this, the next three attacks get increased speed. So you can get a lot of attack speed early on with, with um, Mascarada, or excuse me, Sprigato. Uh, next move we got is, is Double Team, the first optional, this, the first optional move of the second set. Uh, that has the user create an illusionary copy of itself while dashing in order to befuddle opposing Pokemon. If this move is used again, the user swaps places with the illusionary copy when this happens or when the illusionary copy's HP drops to zero. Flower petals are scattered around, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and leaving them unable to act for a short time. Upgrade increases the time that the illusionary copy remains before disappearing and decreases the damage taken by the illusionary copy okay so it's basically just a better version of of a Greninja's double team um next up we got trailblaze has the user leaps to the destination the designated location uh dealing damage to opposing pokemon it hits and leaving them paralyzed if the user hits Pokemon if the user hits opposing Pokemon with this move its basic attack speed and movement speed increase for a short time when the user is in tall grass this moves range increases if this user knocks out an opposing Pokemon or makes an assist the moves cooldown is reset grants a shield when this move is used okay and then floral flourish has the user move instantly to a designated location creating a whirlwind of flowers around itself that continuously deals damage to opposing Pokemon. While using this move, the user cannot use other attacks and the move cannot be canceled if it is used again. The move can be canceled if used again. So basically, you can end it early. You can end it early. Um, but yeah, I mean, off the rip, I think, you know, let's just jump into the game and see exactly what we're dealing with here. And I always try to go with like a high defense type of character to go against when I'm when I'm in like practice mode. So let's see, who's a good defensive Pokemon? I, it's, it's gonna be between Blast. You know, what, let me go with um. Let me go with Mamoswine. And just for that, I'm, I think I'm gonna put Mamoswines. I think I'm gonna keep Mamoswine's health at plus 400. So I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna give him the custom. Mind you, I'm in a test server now. So the test server doesn't have as much as. Uh, they don't have as many boost emblems. So I can only use what they have. The EX thing is the stupidest thing that they can do. I don't even know what that's supposed to. What that does. Honestly. You know, he, somebody's talking about the EX little thing on. Zashi. I have no clue what they're doing with that. They didn't explain nothing, so that remains to be seen what that's supposed to represent. Um, I genuinely don't know what that's supposed to what that's supposed to mean, but that's not why we're here. Oh no! Oh, I messed that up. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So you can't have that. Oh okay. So basically, that EX version. Ah, so they're limiting the legendaries. So not only can you not—I mean, you already had the limitation with X and Y. 
you know, if, if, if one person on your team picks X, another person can't pick Y, they now made it to where any Pokemon that has the EX on it, they're marked as a legendary. And now multiple people can't have legendaries on the team. I low key like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I low key like that. I guess they're trying to balance out the overpowered Pokemon. Yeah, but Urshifu is not a legendary, though. Urshifu is not a legendary. And plus, like, they nerfed Water Fist. So it really don't... <laughs> they nerfed Water Fist. So, like... I mean, I never use Water Fist anyway. I'm a Dark Fist man. So, as long as they don't touch Dark Fist, I ain't got no problem. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's get started. Let's see what we got. Now, for this build, I am using the plus 400 um, emblem page that I made on here. I got Rapid Scarf, Scope Lens, and Float Stone. So, first thing we want to do is get Leafage, and I might as well just go ahead and just get Home Claws. Don't be fart. So... Okay, so there's a meter underneath Spragato's health. When that meter is full, that's when they get to boosted attack. You know, when everybody else, after a couple of attacks, they they get a boosted. Spragato gets a, a boosted one anytime the meter is full. time this man quit yapping AD shut up <laughs> uh, yeah so home claws definitely gives an, an attack speed boost you couple that with with rapid scarf you pretty much you pretty much set but you want to time this right Actually like that I'm not gonna lie for a speedster that's actually good because it can ambush quick gotta use Meowskarada as an assassin. Its endurance is at one star. So you really gotta get your ambush on. This. So I think we're gonna start off with Flower Trick. I wanna see what Flower Trick does. Obviously, it hits at other people. But they gotta be close, though, for that to hit. Double team. It's basically a Shadow Clone from... It's basically an Itachi Shadow Clone. That's what it is. That's gonna be some sick combos you can actually pull off with that.
doing this. You can't do no enduring battles. And this is with a plus 400 health thing. Yo, what's up? This is with plus 400 health. So Meowskarade is definitely meant for like assassination. Like you cannot be in no, like you gotta get in and get out for real. I mean the level was intermediate so. Yeah, I mean the endurance is one star. I mean you really, you seriously have to be an assassin with this thing. Unless they change it in the main game, this is what it is. Hold on, wait a minute now. I think I seen this during the during the test during the not the test server, but the um the world championships. Hold on, wait a minute. I think I called this the Yas Queen. Hold on. Or at least that's what I believe I called it. Yeah, I call it the Yas Queen. The Yas word. That's what I call it. <laughs> that's what that's what we gonna call that move. We gonna call that move the Yes Queen. I don't know. Maybe like to maybe to max out the the damage. I might wanna low key. I might wanna throw in rapid scarf. No, not not rapid scarf, but uh, but attack weight, and that depends on if they keep Mascarada as a as a physical attacker. I got a list out. Like, we're not going to be able to play with Gyarados in the test server until uh, December 14th. But before that, like, we get Metagross on the, on the 24th of this month in the test server. So this skill set ain't bad. I actually like it. But again, I think this double team, for whatever reason, I don't think it's going to get used as much as the other secondary move but there's some stuff you can pull off with this thing like that is inc that that double team is nice so, I mean, take a wild pokemon off take that attack off <laughs> like that's a tachi like that's a tachi Like, that's dope. I like that. There is some combos you can pull off with that. I swear, that move will forever be known as the Yas Queen. I don't know what they... Whatever they calling it in this game, it's called the Yas Queen now. Officially. Still called Comfy Parasite. That didn't change. Alright, so let's uh all right, so let's check out the second skill set. Uh, did I ever get my tick TikTok back? Uh, not yet. They still bullshitting. Um, like the ninety days been up is it, it's really t to the point where like I have to talk to an actual person. Trying to contact anybody through TikTok support is a waste of time because it's just not it's not gonna happen. Like I can't talk to an until I'm able to talk to an actual person. I don't see myself getting it back. As far as like the strikes and everything, that's gone. But it's but they still have to do something on their end 
in order for me to access the account back. And that's the tough part. You know, because the 90 day has been up, like the strikes are gone. But the account is still labeled as suspended. So I can get it back. It's just that somebody at TikTok has to stop being an, an asshole, basically, and give me my, you know what I'm saying, give me my account back. But it's like whoever banned it to begin with, I don't know why, but they, they should have never did it because it was never a reason to do it. But I digress. So I'm going to use attack weight. Man, it's no, no new Mewtwo Hollowware. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I kind of... No, like, I didn't see it yet. I haven't looked at no leaks or nothing like that. The main thing I've been checking for is on the test server to see when Meowskarada was going to get available. And I'm assuming we're going to get Meowskarada soon because the last time you're able to use Meowskarada in the test server is going to be on the 21st. And so, and then, and then, like, a couple days after that, that's when Metagross is going to be on the test server. Okay, so this time we're going to use the second set of moves. And I'm also running attack weight. I took out float stone and I'm using attack weight. So I want to see how much damage it does she Uh, no. They don't have any hollow wear in the test server for her. Of course, you already know that they, they got to give the default fast food. Um, they got to give the default fast food. So let me I actually don't mind. The main trick to using the Oscarada is really gonna be knowing when to attack when that meter is full. That's like the main thing. Oh, that leaf is actually restores health. That's dope. So this time we're gonna use Night Slash. Supposedly they updated, they gave Drain Crown a buff, but it's still bad because it, it doesn't recover on shields. Like, there's some Pokemon that can really benefit from Drain Crown, but until they make it to where it, it, it can get something off of damage and shields, it's not going to be good. Hey, wait a minute, this is Ringar move from uh from League of Legends. This is Ringar's move. Okay, so Trailblaze. So Night Slash throws out. Well, oh, it gets an attack speed boost after that. But you really want to do it from the bushes. Trailblaze paralyzes, so that's gonna be that attack speed that you get from that is ridiculous.
Yeah, that trailblaze is, is it. Like I think the like I think the skill set to use is gonna be that trailblaze. Cause the fact that you can like you can really assassinate with that. Yeah, between that X attack, that scarf, and that trailblaze, oh that attack speed is is ridiculous. Like if you could stack that right, like you really gonna have something. But, but the thing people gotta keep in mind, Miascarada has no health at all. somebody you really got to do it from the bushes yeah it's it's no sense in giving this HP you, you got to be purely offensive I mean purely offensive there's no if you want to be defensive with this now you have to be Look at this. That's crazy. That Trailblaze attack speed is going to be so helpful. you want to pick off people like you don't want to like you don't want to jump into like a, a fight you really gonna have to pick off people that's like half health until you get your damage up and then night slash restores health too so you really want to take advantage like you got to wait for that meter to get full so that you can get your bonus damage and then you just gotta go in. Like you don't wanna do that any time before. Anybody that can disable you like that. That's why I, got, I like going against uh, Mamoswine in the test server because of that 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 uh, that ice fang. That, that 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 ice fang disable is so. It's so good to go against because it, it, it tells you so much. Who do you actually go? What you saying? Who do you actually go against for the for the actual unite when you test and stuff? Um, I'm, I'm well when I'm testing out anything. Well, first off, when I'm in the test server, I always go against the worst case scenario because I know every Pokemon doesn't have those abilities. So if I can survive this, then I can, you know, what I'm saying. Upgraded and you jump from the bushes, you get a shield. You get one hell of an attack speed boost, I'll tell you that. I don't know if that's Rapid Scarf getting paired up with it or if that's just how crazy it is on its own.
I think we're gonna get more defenders. I think that's what Metagross is. I think Metagross is gonna end up being a defender. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, technically as a defender, depending on how you use him. The amount of damage I'm not doing. The, the amount of oh, 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 the animation for this change. I didn't even realize. And yeah, it kind of upgraded the animation on the uh, Rayquaza shield. Or maybe I just haven't played it in a long time. I'm, I'm thinking. Well, this ain't bad. I think the best move set. I, I don't know. I think you can switch between Flower Trick and Night Slash. But I don't think double team is going to be as useful. You know what? I, I I do need to see if you can go through a wall with um with double team. I, I do need to see that. I need to see if it's possible to actually go through a wall with double team. Because that's going to change the game. Like if, if you can actually go through a wall with double team, like if, if your shadow can like run through a wall. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, like I almost don't. The loadout I want to pick is like more attack power. Because I just want to focus on attack. I don't even care. Like, the 400 health ain't even doing too much to where it's a factor, for real. And for whatever reason, something is telling me that Meowskarada is going to get changed from a physical attacker to a special attacker. I don't know why. something is giving me that vibe for some reason. I don't know, they might keep it as a physical attacker, I don't know, but if they change it to a special attacker, I won't be surprised. I like Rapid Scarf, but I'm wondering if it's going to be better if I pick um, Muscle Band to get that bonus damage. And you can't run through a wall itself. And yeah, that's that's out. So you would have to like do something like this. And that's that's kind of tough. And you know what I think? If you can like last minute it, or last minute it, wow, I didn't know that was a possible thing to say. If you can do it at the last minute, not that I think it's going to be a wise move, but you could probably get Rayquaza like, like that, or at least start attacking it, but I don't think that's going to be too helpful for a Pokemon that got low health like this. Jukes off with that double team.
You can get some real good jukes off with that double team. I low key kind of want that double team to. Like, I kind of want that Shadow Clone to, like, attack or do something instead of just sitting there. Like, I know it's just supposed to be a placeholder for, like, whenever you want to teleport and attack, but that's... you gotta do to to really benefit off of it to really get this thing as a, as a as a real threat in the right hands like if you somebody that play league of legends and like you used to use somebody like Rengar or any type of assassin type character this is gonna be the character for you Other people can like Like I kinda wanna see how it looks from the other side. Increases the time that lose count on range for decreases the okay. so the upgrade just decreases the damage taken. I just said when Oh, so they must have to destroy it before the move activates. Because that's supposed to happen. That explosion is supposed to happen when the timer goes down. But I guess it's only when it runs out of health.
Yeah, the main thing about the double team, like Night Slash, I like it. And I feel like, I don't know. Maybe because I want to use Flower Trick more. I, th I think Flower Trick double team is going to be kind of like the AOE. Okay, so at least Trailblaze can jump over me. Trailblaze jumps over like walls at least. So if you're trying to go for a quick escape, it has something. And I think the Unite move can jump over walls too. It can. It's like you gotta put so much emphasis on being offensive. I low key wanna take off that. I like Rapid Scarf. I like it, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it would make more sense to like take off. Like. I kind of want to put on. I see this. I kind of want to do muscle band and razor claw. Wouldn't make no sense to put weakness policy on it because that little one little bit of health, that one star health, ain't is it's not worth keeping up with. stick with uh night slash and trailblaze I think I'm gonna keep those two moves This time what I want to do is I want to try to get as much damage as possible. So I'm going to build up attack weight. Then I'm going to go fight Mammoth Swan. I want to see exactly what I can do.
low key mad they didn't give it like a. I don't know. Like Vine or something. I think you can get away with a lot. Just this setup might be the way to go with Mouscarita. Mouscarita. See me, Mouscarita. So, Night Slash, Trail Blaze, Razor Claw, Muscle Band, and Attack Weight. And he did nerf full heal, so it's not like... I guess carrying potion for Meowskarada wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Cause you do need something to give you a little bit of health to survive those fights. With the 
right emblem page. This would be ridiculous. So every strike, the night slash. Oh, well, you can spam night slash like crazy. As long as you're on the offensive. Yeah, but Yasukurada isn't bad. Um, so here's my final thoughts on Yasukurada. The main thing you gotta be on the lookout for is that passive. Because there is no trying to beef up the health of, of this thing. In order to use it effectively, you have to be purely offensive. You can't really, there's no wiggle room for nothing else. You know, you have to be a sneaky assassin. You have to um, know when to attack with the passive um, so that you can get that bonus damage. So you have to know when to be sneaky. But other than that, I say Meowskarada is definitely a good speedster. Do I think it's going to replace like other speedsters like um, do I think it's going to replace other speedsters like Zorark or Leafeon? Not really. Hell, that's, hell I, I still think Gengar would give it a run for his money. But Zorark, absolutely um I don't think it's going to replace anything, but I do think there's some good things you can do with it. Uh, some cool combos, and you know, it's going to take some time. You got to sit with it for a little bit. But uh, we got Meowskarada until the 21st, and then afterwards we end up getting um, Metagross. So we'll be seeing what Metagross has to offer. But I will continue uh, to practice with Meowskarada to see what different uh, builds work as of right now this is kind of what I'm going with Razor Claw Attack Weight and uh, Muscle Band um, you know like I said the right emblem page would probably be good it'll, it'll probably make it more damaging it's just that the test server is limited on how many boost emblems they have so I can't really, you know what I'm saying, flex the, the damage that I want to. But Meowskarada is cool. It's cool. So if you guys ever get a chance on, to jump on the test server, see what it's about, tell me what you think. Till next time, peace. Thank you for watching.